Wow. Hello. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. I'm, uh, I'm in my creative world here. And I want to do... I want to do a few things here. <sighs> it's storming outside. I like the sound of the storm. I want to get rid of this water. Yeah. Hope it's not too loud. All right. So I've got this, uh, I'm building a little monster spawner here. Just a big brick building. Got glowstone in the roof. I got glowstone down below. I've got a little light trap here. And I put a monster spawner here. It is, although it will not say so. I mean, it says it's a mob spawner. <clears throat> you know how in, in creative, if you give yourself a spawner, Bowser, how are you? Oh, good boy. Um, it ought, it defaults to pigs, and if you um, yeah, you know, defaults to pigs. So, uh, but there's a, there's a little command you can do to turn that pig into uh, into something else, at least in theory. So that, in, oops, in theory, is a spider spawner. I'm trying to emulate my... What's burning? Oh, I know. Duh. Okay. Uh, so I'm trying to emulate my little spider spawner string farm. But... Uh, but... Uh, it's not spawning anything, which is okay. We can, whoops, whoops, ah, ah, I hate, Oop. oh man, okay, okay, being a spouse, never mind, never mind me, um, and never mind the sounds of the kids outside playing. Sounds like they're screaming bloody murder, but I assure you they are not. <laughs> All right, so I have dispensers here and I want to test something. So if I go and I say, how do I have to do this? I want a bunch of buckets of water. So I'm going to have to dump stuff. Well, I can test with just a few for now, I guess. And, uh... Because everything else in... <coughs> pardon me. In creative mode... is kind of infinite, except for when you put stuff in dispensers and a few other things like that, which is a little frustrating but okay so I'm going to try this I've got four with that and I want to try the redstone so I'm just doing a little testing on camera here I think I know how this is going to work but I don't know for sure so I'm going to give it a try so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some redstone dust along the top here I think by powering this block with pulse so I think I can put a button on here and I didn't really mean to do that. 
No, it did not. I have to put redstone here. Oh, that might have worked. Let's go find out. Oh, look, there's water. I want to be able to turn on and off the water in addition to turning on and off the lights. I think that would be kind of a cool thing. Oh, that's a side view of my test cactus farm. It, it looks like a cactus. And the water's gone. Okay, that'll work. Okay, cool. I thought it would. I just want to make sure. Let's come over here. Show you side view. It's so cute. It's a mini little cactus. Yeah. I think it's really cute. Anyway. Okay, let's get out of here. And we're not quite ready to start working on the string farm yet because I think I need more glowstone. Let's take a look. I've got uh, redstone stuff here. So I've got, actually, I probably have enough glowstone that I can make enough glowstone lamps, but I'd use up most of this. And I don't want to do that. So let's, uh, let's see, what do we need? Let's, how much stone do we have here? This might be a little bit boring. I apologize, but we're going to go play in the nether for a little bit. And if it's at all interesting, I will publish this. And if not, I'll pretend it never happened. Just make sure we're recording. All right, so let's go into our little portal here. Yep. Hello, Nether. I hear pigmen. Oh, there's one. All right, so they're kind of all over the place. Let's see, what do I have here? A bunch of, you know, while we're doing this, let's let's go ahead and cook up this stuff because we can. Got a nice array of furnaces here, and this nether rack is pretty much useless as it is. It's much more useful when it's cooked. All right, so I got some stone here. I should have some up over here. I need to raise the roof on this. This is making me feel a little claustrophobic. Oh, it's a little baby. Hi, baby. I like the height of this much better. Even though, I guess... I don't know if Endermen will spawn in the, in the nether. What do I have here? Oh, I got tons of stone. Good. Awesome. Wait, then I need pumpkins... And I need, uh, let me grab this, just so I have it. Okay, let's go up top. So, I think you've seen this before. I built myself a little tower. And I hear a ghast, so I have to be careful. I should be careful walking around with weapons in the nether too. I don't need to piss off the, the zombie pigmen. So I need more glowstone. Up here, I'm pretty close to the source of it, but the most important thing is I need to find a freaking nether fortress. And I just, I can't find one. And there has to be one here somewhere. And I'm maybe I'm too high up for it, I don't know. But maybe I need to go down to the beach down there. But I figured, you know, I'd be able to see it from here. Let's make sure oh, my frame right here sucks anyway. Let's let's pump this up to maximum maximum view distance, which is gonna make my frame rate even worse. I apologize. Oh, we got a little pigman convention going on up here. Hey guys, ah, how's it going? Enjoying the bridge? Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice little bridge. I like it. And I went into a into a, a creative world and I just flew around the nether looking for a fortress so I would at least know what they would look like from a distance. Because I literally have never seen one before. And I'm just not seeing I'm just not seeing it. This is annoying. Oh let's see if there's another in the video settings. There's also graphics, fancy lighting. 
Um, sorry, that was annoying. I won't do that again. Oh, I thought there was a, uh, a brightness, moody. Let's make it bright. Oh, maybe that'll be better. And maybe I have to go down there. Could that be a fortress? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is so annoying. And I'm traveling in the right direction. Because the uh, fortresses apparently spawn in sort of north-south strips. And so I'm building this thing to the west. And apparently we'll maximize my uh, chances of actually finding one. Oh, this is so annoying. But th this is a layer kind of above the beaches. So maybe they're farther down. I don't know. I don't know. It's very annoying. And I, and I, I could whine a little bit louder, I guess. But... I'll spare you that. So, one thing is that my bridge here is almost running into a big pile of netherrack right over there. I'm getting pretty close to it, I think. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm wondering if from there... Sorry, dude. Not trying to push you off. Seriously. Oh, so that that cl that wa lighter stuff is soul sand. Here, you can you can walk back and forth all you want. So I'm thinking maybe I need to go down to the beaches down there. But even that's not the beach. There's a layer below that. I don't know. Anyway, so let me show you my little uh, my little technique here. It's a little tedious, probably a little boring, but so I'm putting. Uh, Stepping out here, and since I don't hear any gas, we'll continue. So I'm just going to extend my edges out here, and I realize, before you get all cranky, that the that this row of uh, blocks, I could technically get away without placing. I don't actually need them for the bridge. But I want them there, because it gives me a place to place to put my uh oh and I run into into the nether rack once I get the bridge all the way over to the nether rack things become much easier so I can dig through that all right hey dude I'm gonna ask you to move here can you do that or maybe I can work around you don't mean you oh thank you thank you so much thank you all right so oh okay so sorry it, it's it's a Tuesday and if I seem a little sniffly more more stuffed up than usual I apologize normally Tuesdays I go and get my allergy shot as I said I've got like a just a boatload full of allergies and uh, both environmental and food and it's very annoying and uh and then normally oh there we are hey dude uh we're gonna have a problem here can i hit that from here no shoot okay well, how about i do this i can do this this will work okay and so normally I, I go get my allergy shot and then I go to crash space for the evening and I go to the, the weekly crash space meeting and do you, do you just won't, oh, you're gassed. Where is it? And uh, so tonight I was, I was stuck at work longer later than I wanted to be I didn't get out didn't get to my allergist and uh, <coughs> it's about a where is it oh, it's probably below me oh yeah take that oh there's another one from work, it's about a 40 minute. Whoa, hello. Oh, 
Are you hiding? Nope, there you are. Uh, from work, it's about a 40 minute drive to the allergist. I work in Burbank. And my allergist's office is in Beverly Hills. It's a little inconvenient, but I like my allergist. So I don't, uh, I don't mind so much. I feel a little exposed out here, sorry. Um, I really hate these ghasts. <laughs> and then, uh, crash spaces in Culver City, which is, um, which is fairly close to Beverly Hills. So at that time of night, with traffic, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to drive all the way back across town to go back to work or go home. So I just stay in, in uh, crash space for the evening, for the meeting. And then we, uh, then I go home after traffic. It works out. But uh, today I was at work late. So three, one, two, three. So that was kind of annoying. Um, so I did not get my allergy shot, and I will be feeling it tomorrow. I promise you. And the rest of the week. So I may try to go on another day. But enough of that. Don't mean this is not me complaining about allergies and such. Um, oops, can I get that? Yeah, right there. So I'm building my little bridge to nowhere here. We'll see if it actually is useful. So I'll dig through this nether rack and maybe keep going. Um, and if I don't see after I get through the nether rack, if I don't see signs of a fortress, I will. I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably should probably backed up this world before I came on this before I started recording. Um, I am playing with the latest snapshot, which they have not released one in a couple weeks. And I've been seeing the, the same Twitter comments as I'm sure all of you have <clears throat> about the new underwater mob and the underwater biome that they're working on, which sounds kind of cool. Like they're going to have little underwater fortresses. Which will be interesting. And they've got some new, um, shall we say, uh, unfriendly mob that uh, that attacks and kills squids. What was that? Um, and much in the way that the, uh, say, wolves will attack and kill uh, sheep. Which is kind of cool. So I'm kind of hoping... That, I mean, they could do a totally natural mob. They don't have to, it doesn't have to be something completely. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that was my dog, Bowser. Um, trying to dig into the little dog bed here. Right behind me. So, of course, that's, you're going to hear that. Okay, that's enough, buddy. Just lay down. It's okay. Um, anyway. So that that could be interesting, and of course, uh, if they wanted to do something from the natural world, which I think would be kind of a neat, be kind of a neat thing for them to do, they could do uh, they can make whales. I know there are whales in the Life in the Woods mod pack; they're pretty cool. But if they did like you know semi-aggressive uh, sperm whales, that maybe didn't attack you unless you were aggressive towards them, but could really mess you up and deal a lot of damage if you did that could be kind of cool I don't know we'll see they could also do uh, seahorses would be kind of cool because maybe you could ride them I don't know uh, okay so here we are I got another rack yeah I hear you uh oh, and I hear you, Mr. Gast. Let's put this in here. And All right. 
seems to be over on that side, so. Okay. Oops, no, we need some we need some bricks to put in there. Doug Bowser is very much a lap dog. He uh, does not like when somebody's home and he's not able to sit on their lap. So he's uh, he's a little upset right now. Okay, where are you, gassed? I wish this is easier. Stereo location in Minecraft is kind of cool, but I wish it were easier to tell. Dude, what are you doing? I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally hit you. There we go. Uh, but it's it's fairly easy to tell horizontally where things are, but if you run vertically. I noticed that if things are, oh, you know what? I can almost make a stairway down here. How far up are we? we got some fires down there. Let's, let's use some of this nether rack to build a little stairway. Let's go down and explore a little bit. Uh, let's see here. But if something is, wait, can I, yeah, do that, do that. Do that, do that. Hope that gas doesn't uh, do that and that. All right. Oh, hello. There you are. You're weirdly far away, aren't you? Ooh, I actually think I almost got you there. <laughs> oh, it sounds like there's more than one. Okay, that's that could be dangerous. Okay. So what's over this way? I've got a big pool of lava. Wife is at the Jack White show. Okay, best case scenario would be oh, look, there's another fortress, but I don't see one. So this is not exactly panning out. Okay, let's go plug this. Because this lava nonsense is kind of annoying. Oh, and look, more nether quartz. Good, I need this. Okay. I see a thing of glowstone over there, which might be reachable. Let me put down some torches here. Very nervous about getting lost in the nether here. Although that should be pretty darn visible from just about everywhere. All right, let's uh, let's do a little wander over here. Oh yeah, this glowstone should be nice and reachable. Oh yeah, okay. Get out the silk touch pick because works much better on this stuff yeah let's get some more glowstone so we can make the lights for our string farm all right go pick it all up Ooh, don't fall in the lava 
Where's that lava coming from? Can I? Wow, this lava flows far out here, doesn't it? Okay. Let's go back. I'm sorry, this has got to be super boring. But. Oops. Use the right tool. So I emptied that out. Oh, so this is the nether rack little outpouring here that I'm about to dig through with my tunnel, huh? Yeah, that's a little unfortunate because it's kind of short and it's not going to lead to much except for this. What's on the other side of this? I should find out. Can get down safely here? Yeah, I think so. All right, go down over here. I got more. Ooh, pool of lava. Careful there. Ooh, spilling down. Is that the source? Okay. I got more glowstone here, so let's get this while we're at it. That looks safe down there. Switch back to the silk pick. Okay, I have to pillar up a little bit to get to that stuff, I guess. All right. And we got more quartz. Let's see, let's do it from up here. And oh, we use this nether rack. Okay. You guys are probably not happy about me wandering around pilfering your your precious resources. Uh oh, I'm a little exposed here. Uh, let's go put out these fires. So I think the fires are the biggest contributor to my frame rate issues. Oh, there's. No. Okay. Yeah. I hear you gassed. You know you're upset. Okay. Let's put the fortune pack pick back on here. Well, I'm going to run out of inventory space. Not a bad thing. But I need me more quartz. It makes a nice building material and you need it for the comparators. Oh, this is so frustrating. Let's walk over this way. I love the irony of putting out fires with a torch. And I don't know if that puts putting it out with the bow puts uh where durability wear on the bow or not. See Seems like I should be able to see something here. Let's wander over here and see if I can see something over here. Oof. Oh, goodness gracious. That lag will be my death. I think I would... I don't know. If 
anybody's watching and they happen to see a fortress that I'm just missing, please point it out. Because I'm ready to go in and take on some some blazes. I need, uh, I need blaze rods. So I want to start doing brewing. Glowstone up there. And that looks lighter just because I've got jack o' lanterns up on the on the freeway. Oops. I guess that works too. Oh, and there's soul sand. I know I need that. But without nether wart, unless there's some nether wart growing down there, let's put some torches up here just so I. Again, this is a pretty huge landmark. <laughs> okay. Can I safely get down here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, okay. Over here. See, I see these square structures like this, but it's just netherrack. And like, oh, is that a fortress? No, it's just, it's just netherrack. All right. Oh, wait, this is not soul sand. This is freaking gravel. Why is there gravel here? And why are there mushrooms growing on gravel? That seems wrong. This is gravel, right? Yeah, it's just gravel. That's weird. Huh. Okay. All right, more firefighting duty. Don't set yourself on fire. That would be really dumb. Oh. Lava, more fires. This is crazy. Why is there just chunks of gravel there? That's weird. I didn't realize there was gravel in the nether. Okay, avoid the lava. We don't need to burn ourselves to death. It's dangerous enough in here as it is. I am very exposed here. Hello, single piece of quartz just hanging up there. Where's that? Mushrooms galore. More fires. Oh, there you are. I see you. Oh. Oh, so close. Have to learn to lead a little better. Oh, oh, you're farther away. See? Judging distance is out here so hard. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, eat, eat, eat. Okay, good. That wasn't too bad. Well, was it? Put out these fires. 
Okay. Let's see what we can see over here. Anything? This is so so frustrating. So frustrating. Okay, is that more gravel? Or is that soul sand? Don't know. Why is there so much gravel in the nether? Seems weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful here. This could be bad. Don't want to fall off into nothingness. Okay, so that is where I, my tower starts. I hear you. I hear you. I can't get to that one. And of course, if I want a really productive gold farm, I need to build it here in the nether. But I need to get a better grip on where things are. And What's going on up there? Let's go find out. Oh, just fire. Of course. Okay. All right, well. Oh, it's, there's the platform where I where my where my portal is and of course I can't get over there because there's a huge gap and I don't feel safe bridging across with this gas running around so you don't even see okay wander back to the other side see we're exploring this is good I'm learning learning about my environment where is that gas all safe hi there yeah oh you know what I should grab am I running out of inventory oh yeah I am the gas slayer okay I should be careful hubris and all that okay this bit of an overhang but I've got a ton of glowstone here I'm running out of inventory space. I don't need this gravel. Go away. Maybe I, maybe I'm going to decide I need that gravel. Okay, let's use this nether rack. Whoa, be careful. Don't be a spaz. You're right near a ledge. Okay. Here we go. Oh, don't especially in nether rack don't dig directly above you you moron okay so this should give me all the glowstone I need for the string farm at least to be able to turn things on and off right yeah I'd say so and let's get you down okay where are you Pick up as much of this as I can. Okay. Without getting myself killed. Ok, 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Gast or Mrs. Gast for, oops, yeah, yeah, that's just an error. Okay, let's, uh, whoa, hello. Ooh. Oh, I feel like there are two of them around now. How do I get over here? I'm feeling a tad bit lost. Let's uh, be very careful and go over here. Yeah. Some of these. All right. Yeah, this looks safer. And a relative's. Oh, there's torches I left over here. This is where I came from. Let's put out some of these. I don't need lag when I'm battling ghasts. Okay. Oh, I got another gas tier. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, what am I going to throw out for it? I don't need. I don't need. I got tons of bones. Ah, shoot. I'll uh, get rid of this netherrack. I need the gas tier. Whoo. Awesome. I did not know I managed to kill that one. Sorry, dude. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I need to get around to the other side of that. I can do it up this way. More quartz. Wow, hanging block of netherrack. Floating block of netherrack. Okay. Yeah. I hear you. I understand. You're not happy. You're always crying all the time. Uh, is that what I want? No, not at all. It's okay. I got another rack out the wazoo. There we go. Okay, let's go secure my gas tier back at home. So this has been productive in a sense, I guess. I can dig a little bit more here. We can extend this bridge and I can get more quartz. Am I running out of space for quartz a little bit? Okay, um, I'm curious. We are at minus 220. See where the other end of this is at. So I'm wondering if, for the purposes of exploration in the overworld, it might be worthwhile putting a a portal down there just to see, because that'll take me. If it's a couple hundred blocks away. That's. 1600 blocks in the overworld yeah it's it's at least 200 yeah that might be worthwhile that might be a worthwhile thing okay well anyway okay so I've been oh criminy this has been long okay well I'm gonna see if I can shorten this up some but anyway um I think we'll call that an episode <laughs> if 
I get done watching this, I might just decide just to leave everything on the cutting room floor, as it were, just because this probably wasn't the most exciting thing in the world for you. Um, certainly interesting for me. I got some good, I got some quartz. I got a, uh, another gas deer, which when I find a freaking blaze somewhere, I can actually make something out of it, but, uh, another is so frustrating. Anyway, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. If you, assuming that you did watch the whole thing, because I can't imagine why you would, but, um, thank you if you did. And then, uh, yeah, so next time I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I just don't know. Uh, so thank you, and uh, I will see you next time, hopefully. If I didn't bore you, completely bore you to tears here. And uh, I will be doing something hopefully a little bit more interesting. All right, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.